Welcome back folks. Once again, I am Joel Oaks. I'm here with Hangsters Hot Rods in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And again, you guessed it, we are here to go over another addition to our inventory. This is going to be a 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1. This car is sitting beside me. We're going to go ahead and give you kind of the basic rundown on it before we start our walk around on it. So like I said, 70 Mustang Mach 1. It is a real Mach 1 and again you could tell that by the VIN number and of course the data tag that's on the door. Now ours is done here in the blue exterior that's not the correct color for this car um, but again they've done a really nice job here on the paint scheme on it so everything looks really nice as far as that goes. So the blue exterior it's got the black striping on it it's got the hood scoop up on top uh, and of course down the sides of the car you have all of the black Mach 1 cladding, um, not only on the rockers, but you've got that Mach 1 cladding around the tail panel and so forth also. Uh, our car also has the front air dam on it. Uh, as far as the powertrain on this vehicle, we've got a period correct 351 Cleveland motor. We've got the C6 three-speed automatic transmission. And then out for the rear end, we've got the Ford 9-inch 276 gear in that uh, that uh, differential there too. As far as accessories, as far as like your brakes and steering, we've got power brakes, power steering. With the brakes, we've got the disc brakes up front and drums out on the rear, complete with the emergency brake all hooked up on this car. And of course, for the wheel and tire combination, we see that our car is outfitted with the 14 inch Magnum 500 style wheel, got the chrome finish on it there and then a set of Cooper Cobra radial GTs and the size on these is the same front and back 215 70 R14s all the way around on this car. So that's kind of the brief rundown. Um, I guess black interior also with bucket seats and factory air also on this vehicle. So with that said, let's go ahead and start our walk around, starting with some of our bright work here. Of course, we see that the car is gonna have the bright work as far as the chrome front and rear bumpers. The chrome on these bumpers is in excellent condition. There's no dents or dings anywhere in the bumpers themselves. We'll take a much better look at this once we come around to the front again on the car. But again, all of the finish is all intact and it looks great. Our side marker lights, the little bezels around those are in great shape. The lenses, no chips or cracks there. Uh, we've already been over wheels and tires and this car does not have any kind of wheel lip moldings. Pretty clean look there as far as that goes. As we come back a little further we see that we have the Mustang script on the front fender then down below that's what I had mentioned earlier there we've got that Mach 1 rocker cladding down here which looks very very nice it is super straight all the way back the side of the car and all attached good and secure if we come up now to our door of course always we check our gaps to the front and to the rear and that looks really good on this car here you can see that all of our body lines all line up on this car and our elevations are dead on with this car as far as your quarters and your fenders are concerned in relation to the door now we've got some chrome on the door handles and the actual locks here those are in good shape and on this car we've got the door um, body colored side mirrors here. So again, the paint on these is in great shape. The glass in the lens is here in great condition too. And the driver's side is a remote adjust mirror as well. We also have the drip rail moldings here on our driver's side and it is in very nice shape. There's no dents or dings here. Nice and straight, polished really good here. And again, that rain gutter the whole way through, nice and smooth all the way through there. The glass in the side windows here, you can see it's slightly tinted, no chips or cracks in any of the glass, and all of our other trim like down the quarter window here, that is all in good shape. While we're over here, 
Let's go ahead and open our door up, take a look at the interior. Of course, we notice that it's got the all black interior with the wood grain trim in there as well. Um, all of the interior is in really nice shape. You can see the front bucket seats. Um, these have the, uh, the comfort weave material on them and they're in great shape. There's no rips or tears anywhere in any of the seat upholstery. Of course, you see the full length center console, automatic floor shifter, and that console does have two gauges on it. Um, those are your water temperature and oil pressure gauges. Up from that we see it's got the factory heat and AC controls and of course it's got a uh, Optimus AM FM uh, radio in there. I think CD player with that. And then again factory dash, factory instrumentation in the dash. The dash pad itself is in great shape. Wood grain steering wheel and if we look over to the passenger side real quick we notice that it's got the clock over there too um, like the Mustang Stangs had. So all of that's in really good shape. Carpeting's in great condition too. And then the door panels also, as we come out and look at those, those are in really good shape there. As I mentioned, they do have the wood grain trim, some bright work there also on them. Again, you've got your uh, kind of your lights here for your interior and reflector. Uh, your armrest pad itself is in nice shape. Um, no rips or tears or cracks there. So again, that's all in really good condition. And then as far as our uh, wet, uh, weather stripping and our seals all the way around our door frame. That all looks good. There's no rips or tears anywhere, all intact. Um, again, weather stripping around the door, rubber bump stops here. And as I mentioned, you do still retain the body tag there also for it. So we'll close this side up. Again, that shuts nice and easy and again that just kind of shows how well everything's adjusted here in the car quarter panels on the car nice and straight nice and smooth all the way back same thing with our side marker lights back here all in good shape of course with our Mach 1 here you can see it's got the louvers here um, those can be lifted up so that you can clean the glass underneath and the glass is all in great shape again too back here no chips or cracks anywhere on the glass now with the Mustangs, especially your Mach 1s, you've got a very small trunk lid here. Uh, but again, you can see all of your gaps, all of your elevations all look pretty good back here for your trunk lid. You can see the black decals here on the tail panel and trunk the Mach 1 badging here. You've got that kind of looks like kind of like a honeycomb pattern here uh, right in the middle of your tail panel. You got the Mustang gas cap here, the flip open gas cap. Tail light lenses and bezels all in great condition back here uh, on the rear of the car. And then again that chrome rear bumper looks fantastic. Again no chips or cracks anywhere in the chrome, no dents or dings anywhere in the bumper. Now let's go ahead and open our trunk lid up. Take a quick look inside there. So again, key works the lock. Trunk lids up. You've got your weather stripping all the way around, which is in great shape. No rips or tears there. Again, the underside of your trunk lid done the same blue as the exterior of the car. And again, all of your rain gutters, your water channels back here are all solid. And again, that's going to direct that rain or, you know, from washing the car right out the back of the car. As far as the trunk goes, we've got lots of pictures of that with the trunk mat out. This is going to be showing it with it in. Obviously you see the trunk mats in great shape. You've got a set of floor mats in here that will go with the car obviously. All of this looks in great shape and good and solid back here. So we'll close this up and then we'll walk around the passenger side of the car now. So again, starting back here, looking up the side of the car, nice and straight from back all the way to the front. That all looks good here. Uh, we've already been over wheels, tires, all of our side marker lights I've already been around. Those all look great on all four corners. More of that Mach 1 cladding along the rockers here of the car, which is in great condition. You can see our gaps here on the passenger side door now. Very uniform here on this side. Again, elevations all the same. Very good here with the quarters and the fenders. The chrome on the handles looks great. Your drip rail moldings are all in great shape along with your window trim here. And again, the mirrors are in great condition. The paint's in great condition. The actual lens in the mirror is in good shape too. So let's open our door up. 
That way you get to see the interior in its entirety. Uh, again, all of the upholstery looks very good. Um, your center console is in great shape. Again, um, you know, really good condition. Even that center console lid, you'll see a lot of times that they'll get a little split or some wear and tear on those. But this is in really good shape here. Again, seat upholstery, no rips or tears. Your carpeting, no rips, tears, or fading on the carpeting. As we see our weather stripping on this side that all looks good too and again your door panel over on the passenger side looks just as good as the other side your wood grain trim the bright trim work there also your lights and reflector again your uh, armrest pad there all looks good so we'll shut this up and then we'll kind of just work our way around you got the uh, fender mounted antenna there and we'll just bring us around to the front of the car. Again, everything looks great here as we walk around. So once we're here at the front of the car, again, now we can see the front bumper It's in its entirety. Again, you can see how well that chrome looks. If we go right below that, you'll notice our car has that front air dam there. Um, again, that's all intact, no splits or cracks anywhere, and all securely mounted to that lower valance. Your grill area here is all in great shape. There's no parts in here that are cracked or broken. It's all intact, good and solid. Same thing with parking lights and your headlights. There's no chips or cracks in any of the lenses. And again, all of your bright work around the lights and so forth and the leading edge of the hood here, all in great shape on this car. Now, as we started with, again, this, kind, this hood, this would be a, st a steel hood here. All of your gaps all the way around look to be in great, uh, you know, they're adjusted very, very good good your center hood scoop here is in good condition here it does in fact have the turn signal indicators in the back side here and those do work um, your cowl area back here looks good as I look down in through here to see the condition of everything down in there everything looks good and solid there wiper arms those are in great shape nice set of wiper blades our bright work around the windshield all looks good no dents or dings there and again your windshields in good shape there um, not being cracked or anything there that all looks good let's go up front oh the um hood pins here a lot of times these are functional but on this car not so much on this one they're just on there kind of for looks they got them down nice and solid here for you um, but and they got them painted up the the black there to kind of go along with the rest of the scheme of the car so let's go ahead and open our hood up now and then we can go ahead and start to talk about our drive line. So with the hood up, we can see the underside of our hood's done here and the blue is kind of the same as the exterior of the car. Of course, the engine compartment itself here is done in the black. As far as the motor goes, this is a 351 Cleveland motor. Uh, it is a period correct motor. You can see the air cleaner here. This is the factory style air cleaner. Underneath the air cleaner, we've got a quick fuel technology 650 CFM four barrel carburetor. Uh, we've got an Edelbrock aluminum intake underneath there too. Uh, as far as the ignition goes, they kept it with the stock point style ignition. They have upgraded the plug wires though. These are a set of seven and a half millimeter plug wires and they've gone with a little better coil here with a blaster two coil. That would be an MSD blaster two coil. Uh, we've got the uh, painted blue um, powered by Ford valve covers down here. We've got the PCV valves in those so that any, everything vents properly. Um, we've got the factory air conditioning on this car. Belts and hoses are all hooked up and all functional on this vehicle. Uh, it does have a stock style radiator, nice chrome radiator or a fan shroud on it as well. And then it's a six blade uh, steel mechanical fan there to help cool everything off for the exhaust it's the uh, kind of the stock exhaust manifolds and then a two and a quarter inch exhaust all the way back through with a set of Flowmaster mufflers on it and then off of the tailpipes it does have a set of three inch uh, chrome exhaust tips slash cut tips back there for the transmission uh, transmission is the c6 three-speed automatic transmission. And then for the rear end, again, that does have the nine-inch Ford 
276 gear in that rear end. Um, now again, walking around the car, um, if this is a car that interests you, but yet there might be something you'd like to add to it, uh, again, keep in mind that here at Hangsters, we do all kinds of installations and upgrades on these cars. So whatever it might be that you're looking for, definitely reach out to us and let us know what that might be, and we'll be glad to get you pricing on parts and labor to have that done. Um, uh, just trying to think of anything else. Uh, we'll go over a few other things here once we get the underside video done. But other than that, that's pretty much our walk around here for the 1970 Mach 1. Um, so what we'll do is take a moment just to close everything up here, get it back on our lift, and then I'll meet back up with you here in just a minute so that we can go through the underside of this and uh, show you the condition of everything underneath the car. Welcome back with us here, folks. We've got our 70 Mustang up on the lift, so we're gonna go through this as we do all of our cars. I'm gonna point out to you all the components that this particular car has on it and go over the condition of everything with you. We'll start at the front, and with our 70 Mustang, we do have the front air dam here. Plastic air dam done in the black there, no splits or cracks anywhere. All the mounting hardware all present and good and secure underneath here. Back behind that, we have the radiator. It's a stock style radiator. Underside of the radiator is nice and dry, no leaks there. Tranny lines are dry and leak free, and your radiator hoses are leak free as well. All your hose clamps look to be in good shape there also. Now with the Mustangs, whenever we start talking about the, uh, the front suspension, um, you're gonna run into the strut rod uh, front suspension here. So that is what we see here. These are your forward facing strut rods. Uh, bushings for those are in good shape. Strut rods themselves are nice and straight. Of course, those come back and hook to your lower control arms. Now these are all factory OEM control arms, both tops and bottoms. Ball joints look to be in good shape. Rubber dust boot covers are in intact on both uppers and lowers. Um, this is a power steering as well as a power brake car. Um, so with the steering, um, of course, we've got our uh, ram underneath here for that. Uh, with the lines, those are all nice and dry underneath here. Um, your tie rods, the tie rod ends, those all look to be in good shape too. And the tie rods, same thing here. They all have those rubber dust boot covers on them. And with the power brakes, um, we do have disc brakes up front, drums on the rear. This looks to be all factory stuff as far as the discs are uh, concerned. Um, so whenever it comes time to replace pads, rotors and such, should be able to just uh, go to any of your local auto parts store and pick these items up pretty easily. And as far as the wheels, of course, when we did our walk around, you got to see a much better view of those. But again, we'll go over them. They are a 14 inch wheel. They're the Magnum 500 style wheel. This is these are the chromed versions. Um, and again, as far as the tires go, Cooper Cobra Radial GTs. These are 215 70R14s on all four corners. And that makes it nice whenever it comes time to do your tire rotations. Simply move fronts to backs and there you have it. Treads all in great shape on these tires also. Now as far as the engine goes underneath here uh, and transmission, uh, motor, that's our period correct, 351 Cleveland. Our oil pan is dry all the way around, so gaskets and seals all sealed up nicely. Um, no leaks or drips at the drain plug. And again, we see no leaks at the back side here either. Transmission, this is that C6 uh, three-speed automatic transmission. It does in fact have the cover on the front to help protect the flywheel and torque converter. Your transmission pan, all nice and dry all the way around that also, including those tranny lines coming from your radiator back here all of which are all dry. Uh, before we get too far along with the, uh, the description underneath here, exhaust. Of course, with our 351 Cleveland, we've got the exhaust manifolds up there. Um, two and a quarter inch exhaust as it comes back into a set of Flowmaster turbo style mufflers there. Of course, it does have tailpipes on it, three inch chrome tips, but we'll check those out as we get back there. And then with the transmission to finish everything off there, the transmission cross member, 
and mount all in great shape here and the output shaft seal here is in good shape where it has no leaks back there either. Now as far as the floors and the frame go, um, the frame uh, sections all look good uh, up front here. No issues there. Floors look good for the most part. Um, all good and solid here. Um, I think it's had uh, maybe some replacements back here, but everything's been done nicely, seam sealed, and it's done with the correct metal too. You can see all of the stamping lines and everything. You can see all the drain plugs are all installed where they should be. As far as our pinch welds and rockers on both sides, pinch welds are straight, rockers are solid down both sides. Uh, and then if you can see it there in the video, we do have all of your cables all hooked up for the emergency brake, and those are functional too, by the way. So as we come towards the back, of course, we've got our drive shaft in our rear end. The drive shaft is a steel drive shaft. It is a balanced drive shaft also. That, that helps eliminate any kind of driveline vibrations. Universals have all been checked over on it and all in good shape. Pinion seal on the rear end is leak free. And again, your third member assembly all the way around is nice and dry as well. Now this is a nine inch Ford. Uh, I believe that was a 276 gear in the rear end there. Uh, we've got a set of rear air shocks here, which make it nice and easy to adjust that rear suspension. You can raise and lower the ride height a little bit, get it sitting where you like it to sit at, um, and also you can adjust for you know comfortability there and ride quality. Uh, it does have the multi-leaf rear uh, springs back here. And again, same thing for those wheels and tires, the 14-inch Magnum 500s with the Cooper Cobra uh, radial GTs back here. And those were drum brakes, by the way, drum brakes with the e-brake all hooked up. We come back a little bit further. Again, Again, we can see now our tailpipes for our exhaust. Again, that was two and a quarter inch exhaust, three inch chrome slash cut tips back here. The fuel tank is in excellent shape too, as you can see here. We've got no denser dings along the bottom of that. Fuel lines are all dry all the way back, including at the sending unit here. So again, no issues there. And the trunk floor, what we see underneath here, all good and solid. Again, your fuel tank on the Mustangs mounts in from the top side and makes up a majority of your trunk floor. Um, so as long as this is all in good shape, a majority of your trunk floor is as well. So, and you can see that uh, fuel tank is in great shape. And again, the rear lower balance here with your uh, backup lights there, all in good shape, nice and straight all the way across there. Uh, that's pretty much the underside of our 70 Mustang. Again, we are an ATC trailer dealer as well. Um, so if you're interested in buying a classic and you might need a way to uh, transport that uh, and you're in the market for an enclosed uh, car trailer or race trailer, um, you know, look us up. Uh, we have our uh, website there. Um, you can either check them out by going to our car site and looking at the trailer inventory there or going right to the trailer site, hangstershaulers.com. You can see all of our inventory pricing uh, and all the options that are there. Um, as far as shipping on one of these cars, if you're looking to buy it and you might be a distance away and you need shipping, um, with our retail pricing, we incl include enclosed shipping to anywhere within the 48 contiguous states. Um, if you need to know, you know how that works a little bit better, reach out to us again. We'll be glad to go over that process with you. Um, but the cost of that would be included with the retail price. Um, also, the warranties on these cars included with the retail price as well. Um, and that's driveline, um, you know, powertrain. So that'd be your motor, transmission, rear end, any internally lubricated parts and items on any of those systems there. Um, as far as um, financing also, if that's something that you need to look into um, we could do that also uh, we work very closely with uh, several um, classic car specialty lenders out there
there. Um, if you have a preference, obviously let us know that. Uh, but again, it's real simple. You can go on our website, fill out the credit app, and then we can contact you to see if you have a preference and send it to who you would like us to send it to. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, uh, with the underside of our car now. So let's go ahead here before we uh, finish everything up, get this down off the lift, go under the hood and fire this 351 Cleveland up, let you hear what that motor sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> 